Hello, I'm Brett, I'm a trainee clinical psychologist and in one of my old jobs I used to spend a lot and a lot of time in Microsoft Excel and I would find any tips possible to try and speed up the workflow. And so in this video I'm sharing with you four of the tips that I found helpful. So the first tip is just to create an actual table within Excel. So say we have a few headings in our spreadsheet, we can just select them and we can just use a shortcut on Mac, which is FN Command and T. And this will create, allow us to create a table. Um, our table has headers, so we select that and press OK. So having a table means that you can edit things really quickly. For example, the formatting or when you are, um, when you have a formula, it will copy down the formula for you, something called flash fill. So let's say we had um, some figures here. You can see the table copies down. And when um, we when we type our formula, uh, let's say we just want to add one to each one of these values, you can see it's copied down here. And that can be really, really useful when you're working with lots of data. It means that you won't have to manually drag down the formulas. Okay, so another really useful tip is to be able to transpose the data that you have within your spreadsheet. So let's say we have a bunch of names here, but we want them to be headings for our table, which goes this way. Uh, we could type them all out manually, but that might take a bit of time, especially when you have lots of data to work with. So if we select the data and copy it, then we can use um, get up the paste special menu and we can use the transpose function which just puts it all nicely transposed across the top. Another tip is that if you're working in a workbook with loads and loads of different worksheets, it can be really complicated to remember which one you have to keep going back to, which can really be frustrating and add quite a bit of time when you're trying to get your work done. Um, as you can see, we have lots of different sheets down here. The a way to make this easier is to right click on the sheet name and go to tab color and select the color you want. So now we can see sheet 34 has turned red, which makes it easier to identify amongst all the other sheets. When you have two tables across two different worksheets, it can be really helpful to make Excel open up a new window of your workbook. Um, to be able to visually check across the two tables if they're the same or different. So we've got a worksheet here, one with a table on it, and we also have worksheet nine, which has a different table on it. Now, rather than flipping between the two, it's helpful to open the second window. So if you go up to the top and go to view, which we want to click on new window, Excel will open up a new version of this workbook for us. And here we can click on a different worksheet and start to compare the data. So now we can see if this value on the left is the same as the value on the right and it can be a nice quick way of visually scanning your data to see if there's any difference without flipping back and forth between the worksheets. <music> 